morning, everyone. It's uh, Monday morning. It's a very slow day for a very slow week. And uh, this is video number 527. And I want to mention again that um, we've been doing really well for the people who have signed up to uh, trade futures with Dennis Marlowe. Uh, and in fact, I know I just got an email from him a little while ago that said that we made some money scalping uh, Nat Gas last night. Uh, he keeps the risk really down using stops. And uh, in fact, we're really doing phenomenally well. Okay, Asia and Europe are both up. Uh, in the uh, U.S., we have AstraZeneca uh, getting a 90% efficacy on their cocktail. Uh, the FDA has approved Regeneron's antibody cocktail for emergency use. So uh, on that and things are definitely looking up. The futures were up about uh, 220 when uh, I came in, uh, currently up about 140. Um, I'm not really sure what the deal was. The S&P was up about 16, is now up 13, and uh, the uh, NASDAQ is up about 38. Uh, we had the G20 zoom meeting virtual meeting uh, everybody wants to uh, have a coordinated covid response I, I don't even know why that's a discussion uh, guitar centers fired f follow <laughs> filed sorry filed chapter 11 uh, this morning and uh things are in general looking up uh, delta however uh, is up you know, 30, 40 cents, uh, casting a great deal of doubt on the resurgence of any U.S. to London flights. Um, on the screen here, you can see uh, crude is up about 43 cents and, in fact, made a slightly higher high than last week's or the week before, as I'll show you that. Uh, really looking like it wants to move higher. Uh, I mean, the high here, I think, was 63.06. Yep, 43.06. And as I said this morning, we're trading well uh, under that, you know, not overwhelming, 42.85, but it has been as high as uh, 43.60, I believe. Uh, let's just see. 43.36. So we're coming right into this. This is uh, 43.78 and this is 43.52. So a close over that really kind of looks strong. Uh, I may make a trade in the gold or silver this morning, primarily because uh, it's down at support or it's moving down to support. We have all of these 1850 areas. As I mentioned in last night's video, I'm not happy about this little rounding of a top that occurs all below uh, the breakdown, but the odds favor a bounce to the upside, and if not, the loss would be minuscule. So uh, I'm taking a good look at that. And uh, the dollar and Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down 110 this morning at 18,575. It has traded 18,850. And the U.S. dollar is also down. <clears throat> Bonds are down, so rates are going up. That should be supportive of the dollar. But as you can see, if it closed where it is now, this would be a new closing low. Uh, this low, in fact, is 91.90. So far, we are 92 on the bottom, but we're sitting right there. All right, everyone, uh, I'm going to go. Uh, the Dow is up 142. NASDAQ is up uh, 40. And the S&P is still up just 16. Remember, this is a very short week. I would not suggest taking on new positions in short-term uh, calls. 
against it. I think things are going to be very quiet. Um, we may do, uh, I'm looking at a possible scalp in um, Workday, W-D-A-Y. Uh, and that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget that the uh, futures trading is available and uh, being successfully done.